So I have this bubble paper and uh, I, I should tell you, I normally recommend doing this outside, but it's a little chilly for outside today. So I'm trying to do it here on this table. And what I've got is I had some uh, paint, uh, sorry, I left the, it's a, just a acrylic paint, it doesn't matter which brand. I added a little bit of soap and some water, this is just like uh, dish soap, um, and a little bit of water. And I mixed them together in this container here. And I'm just gonna simply blow and then I want to get these bubbles to land on the paper um, when I've done this before I did it with a slightly smaller container and I think the bubbles came out a little bit better let me see if I can do it in a more shallow container here and I may have more water and, and need more uh, 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 soap. We'll see. Hmm. I think I need somewhere in between um, those amounts of bubbles and not bubbles. Um, let's see if this blue one will work in the other container. There we go. I've got some good bubbles. I used to do this with little kids and we would do it outside and we would essentially run around and catch the bubbles. And you can see the risk here is just that it gets kind of messy. So this is, this will get kind of messy. Um, you have, do have to be aware of that. So to, whether you have the space in your house to do this or not, it's kind of a fun um, activity and you end up with this bubbly paper. Um, of course, you can see I also end up with these little splatters when I did it wrong. Um, and that's pattern, right? That's pattern. That's uh, implied texture. I'm going to let these dry for a while. And uh, when I'm, I may play with them a bit more, but <coughs> once they dry, we'll have these rings of the bubbles on there. 